Well, school is back in session this week, as we know, and it's nice to finally see the temps going down. Even every little degree really matters. Now, I'm sure the kids uh, liked playing on the playground a little better today than, than they yesterday. did yesterday. Right. It was oppressive yesterday afternoon. I know you'll recall, I uh, had a 107 degree high temperature. We had a heat index of 112 degrees yesterday. Today, as you can see from this live perspective, our Hill Country camera is showing us overcast skies out there across Llano County, and it's only 86 degrees. You folks have had even more clouds than we have around the Austin area. We are at 94 uh, back here in the city right now. This is our evening planning forecast for Austin, 89 degrees. It's what we're expecting at 8 o'clock tonight at 10 o'clock down into the low 80s. That's pretty nice considering just a couple of nights ago we had a 10 o'clock temperature of 95 degrees. So uh, much, much better. Our first August cold front. And as a result, temperatures right now, no 100s on the map. We didn't expect any today and haven't seen any. In fact, these mid-80s I told you about out here in the Hill Country, 84 degrees in Burnett. Uh, 90 up in Georgetown. It has got as warm as 97 this afternoon out at the airport. And over in Fayette County, you folks uh, pretty close to 100 there at 98 degrees. But the humidity values are lower now with this northerly wind behind the cold front that blew in early this morning. 94 in the city at Camp Mabry. Skies are mostly cloudy, and it's mostly cloudy. 97 degrees at ABIA. What are the winds doing? Well, they're still out of the north, 5 miles per hour in town. And at ABIA, winds northeasterly at 12 miles per hour. A sunset, notice, getting a little earlier every night, exactly 8 p.m. tonight. Let me show you the pollen count today. Uh, mold high at 1,032. Ragweed at 22 is low. And we are expecting that tomorrow uh, we may still see that mold, which jumped back into the high category today, a high once again. Around Texas, uh, 80 in Dallas, 84 in Abilene. They're enjoying the break from the heat wave, too, up here in North Texas. Low 80s in the Panhandle. A little warmer down here along the Texas coast, 97 in Corpus Christi, and pretty uncomfortable. Although that front has made it uh, down here into South Texas, it has become stationary now, probably not going much further. Notice the uh, low cloud cover here uh, locked in in the cooler air behind the front. That's nice. Now, that frontal boundary is lying out here in the Gulf of Mexico and will be for the next couple of days. And there's also a disturbance out here in the Gulf of Mexico. Very broad, very unorganized right now. But sometimes along frontal boundaries, uh, when you get them out over the Gulf water, you'll get a little surface circulation going. And so we're going to have to watch this. This area will be generally progressing westward the next couple of days. And we're adding some rain into our weekend forecast as a result. You'll see that in a minute. We don't think this is going to become a tropical storm or tropical depression, but we will have to watch it. It is possible. Uh, Hurricane Danielle, meanwhile, out here, actually right there, and still tracking off to the northwest. Hurricane Center believes Danielle may strengthen to a Category 2 and could become very uh, near Bermuda this weekend, but is not expected to impact uh, our U.S. coastline. And look at this, Tropical Storm Earl, that wave I told you about over Africa yesterday, uh, has moved out and become a tropical storm now. Now, Earl uh, may become a Hurricane 2 here in about two days and is going to track a little more south toward the northern uh, Leeward Islands, so we'll have to uh, certainly keep an eye on him. Okay, here are your lows tonight. Would you look at this? Upper 60s, low 70s. Nice in the morning. Tomorrow afternoon, we're back up, though, into the low to mid-90s, but still below 100. That's nice. 73 tonight with a partly cloudy sky overnight. Tomorrow, 95. Still have that Gulf of Mexico cut off with that north-northeast wind, so that's good. Humidity will stay lower. Now, this weekend, we'll get back close to 100. Uh, 98 Friday, 98 Saturday. Moisture will really start increasing over the weekend, and as a result, we'll have a chance of some rain with that little system coming in from the Gulf on Sunday, and at least a slight chance will continue through midweek. Leslie?